everybody. Today we are talking about series and inspired by a video I did a few, I guess a couple of months ago now, I wanted to talk about series that I am planning to finish because I have previously discussed series that I'm not planning to finish. So I thought I would go through all of the series that I've started since I joined booktube and talk about the ones that I am planning on continuing on with. Now I am going to exclude some. So some of the obvious ones that like y'all be knowing I'm going to continue on. The In Death series by J.D. Robb, the Murderbot Diaries from Martha Wells, anything from Alona Andrews, Side Changeling from Nalini Singh, Tommy and Tuppence from Agatha Christie, any of Tessa Dare's series and the Sixth World series. Those were all ones that I thought probably can kind of go without saying that I'm going to either continue in or finish off once I get a chance. So some caveats there. And then, you know, there's a few series that I am currently planning on reading another book in them, like maybe something like The Witcher, or I am possibly going to continue on in them like Mistborn, but I'm not totally committed at this point to finishing the series. So I'm not going to include ones like that. I'm also not going to include ones like the Knitting in the City series from Penny Reed or the Tracer series from Laura Griffin, where I'm probably going to skip a couple of the books, but I am still planning on reading some of them. Anyway, that's a lot of caveats. Mostly these are series that I am pretty confident that I'm going to like go the distance with them. I either have the sequels, I'm planning on getting the sequels when they come out, etc. So with that being said, I've got a big old pile of books in front of me. So I'm just going to start grabbing them and we'll start talking about it. First of all, the Realm of the Elderling series from Robin Hobb. I am planning at this point, certainly reading the first two trilogies in this series, which I believe has in total four trilogies to it. So I am definitely going to read the first six books in this overarching series. I may not read all 12, though I, I think I probably will, but I am definitely planning on continuing with this. This is a very charming, cozy fantasy series, lovely writing, character driven, my kind of fantasy basically. So slowly getting these and am planning on reading those first two trilogies. Speaking of trilogies, I am planning on finishing the Scythe trilogy. So I read Scythe a couple weeks ago and I really enjoyed it and definitely want to see the full story come together. So there are three books, Scythe, Thunderhead, and The Toll. I have Thunderhead and The Toll and I'm definitely planning on finishing those up. And this one is a YA dystopia where death has been eliminated. So there's this elite group of people called the Scythe and their job is to quote unquote glean people to keep the population under control, meaning they are the only people allowed to permanently kill someone. So there you go. And then a classic series I'm planning on finishing, the series of books around Barchester Towers. Uh, I think it's called maybe the Barsetshire Chronicles. I believe that there's six books in total. I read The Warden earlier this year, was very charmed by it and am very excited to continue because I've actually been told The Warden is one of the weaker books in the series. So intrigued to see a series from the Victorian period because we don't have a lot of kind of interconnected novels like this. So I think this will be a fun adventure. Okay, I had to pause because there was somebody walking by my house belting opera at the top of their lungs. I wasn't mad about it. They're welcome to come back another day. Anyway, continuing on. <laughs> Next, we have another fantasy series. Uh, and that is the Joe Abercrombie First Law series. So I read The Blade itself last year and quite enjoyed it. I am planning on continuing on with Before They Are Hanged. I actually just picked this up in audio form as well because it was on sale for like $3 or something. So I have this one. And then I also have The Last Argument of Kings. These are nice, chunky fantasy books. And I would like to reread The Blade itself before I continue on with this. So that's somewhat of what is holding me back. But I'm thinking about making this a project for next year. I don't know. We'll see. But I do own all three of these and I'm definitely planning on finishing it and probably continuing on in that little world that he has going. I think there's a couple of standalones in this universe as well. So another fantasy one. Moving into a mystery pick, Lord Peter Whimsy. So I read, let's, ooh, okay. I think that there's probably roughly 15 books or so in the Lord Peter Whimsy series. And back in my my kind of college slash early 20s days, I would say I probably read seven or eight of those 15. I was not a great 
record keeper at that point, so I'm not actually even totally sure which ones I've read. And I want to do a full series reread. This is another one that I'm considering doing for 2021. I know a lot of people have wanted me to do a similar series to what I did for Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple for Lord Peter Whimsey. I don't have quite the same level of love for those books that I do for the Christie canon, but I am thinking about it. And in any case, even if I don't do a specific series for it, I definitely plan on finishing off the Uber at some point. So this one, this one is very on brand for me. Definitely gonna happen. A YA fantasy series I am planning on continuing is the Witchland series from Susan Dennard. Now this is kind of similar to what I was saying about the Joe Abercrombie series where I want to, I need to go back and do a reread of the earlier books in the series, and I don't want to commit to plowing through the full series until they have all come out. So at this point, I'm paused on the series, waiting for the full thing to finish, because there's so much detail and like plot line continuations from book to book that when I was waiting in between books, I was finding myself forgetting things and not being able to appreciate the book as much. So I'm waiting for all of them to come out, then I'm gonna go back and start with Sight Witch and do a full reread from there. And I'm expecting I will enjoy it a lot more that way. So that is definitely a plan for the future. I don't think the last one, I think the earliest the last one would come out is 2022. So we've got some time before this one's gonna happen. Then I do have two books left in the Johannes Cabal series from Jonathan L. Howard. I absolutely love Johannes Cabal the Detective. The other two that I've read so far in the series were fine, but not like mind blowing to me. They're they're kind of like, but they're speculative fiction. They're steampunk, kind of. But it also varies a lot from book to book. I, it's hard to really nail down exactly what these are, but let's just say general speculative fiction with a, a very dry British kind of sense of humor baked in. So I have two more to read and I definitely will get to these at some point. And then another YA fantasy series I'm keeping up with now, if I absolutely hate this second book, Blood and Honey, maybe I wouldn't continue on, but I really enjoyed Serpent and Dove last year. These are probably more accurately described as new adult. And they're just sort of like very sudsy fantasy books that I don't think need to be read too seriously. They're just very fun, I think. At least the first one was. So I'm excited to keep going. I guess maybe if I really didn't like the second one, maybe I wouldn't continue, but I'm planning to at this point. Maybe on kind of a similar note, the Dread Nation series from Justina Ireland. I haven't yet read Deathless Divide. I keep meaning to and keep not doing it. Um, and I guess maybe if I really didn't enjoy that book, I wouldn't keep going in the series. But at this point, I'm, I am absolutely love Dread Nation. So I'm planning on keeping going. These are YA books set in the post Civil War era in the US alternative history where in the middle of the Civil War, there was a zombie outbreak. So they stopped fighting each other and started fighting the zombies. Like thematically, I love these books. I thought that the first one set up a bunch of really interesting conflict that I am interested to see how it's going to get paid off. So as of now, I am planning on keeping going in that series. Then Dragon Unleashed is the second book in the Fallen Empire series from Grace Draven, which is a fantasy romance series. I really love the way that Grace Draven kind of paints her fantasy worlds and the relationships are usually pretty slow burn. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say I like this series as much as I loved Radiance, but I'm still into it. I'm into the world and I'm, I'm interested to see more stories in this world. And then I've got two graphic novel picks. So one is Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. I I really love the series, even though a lot of the times I can't figure out what the hell is going on. This fourth series or the fourth bind up, I think we finally started to get a better idea of what's going on. But the, act the actual art in these is absolutely beautiful. Like it is just a pleasure to put your eyeballs on. The story is really twisty and weird in a way that I very much enjoyed. And I really like the kind of feeling of disorientation that this book that the series gives. So yeah, I am committed to seeing this one through one volume at a time. I don't know when the next one's coming out, but whenever it does, I'll be there to get it. And then The Adventure Zone by the family McElroy. So this is based on a podcast, a fictional kind of podcast thing that I really enjoyed back in the day. Um, so I actually know what happens in this series, but each year you get a new episode of the story in graphic novel form as opposed to the podcast form. So I will keep getting these as they come out. I found these to be really cute, really fun, really charming, and just reminds 
me of how much I enjoyed that podcast. So I will keep going with these. Next, I think the next one is the Crystal Kingdom arc that will be coming out in 2021, I think, which is one of my favorite arcs on the show. So I'm excited to get to that one. Ooh, and then a couple of kind of not really serialized series, more episodic series. So first of all, the Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. I really love the little universe that she has set up in this series. The next one comes out in May of 2021. There was a, this year we kind of took a break from her release schedule, but I really enjoy the family that has been established in this series. Um, I'm very excited for the next one because it's the cousin slash brother of the first two male protagonists in the series. And I just really, I love Helen Huang's writing. I love her perspective and just generally, this is a very charming series. So excited to get additional entries in this. And then the Rizdiverse from Ruby Dixon. These are definitely not serialized. They're episodic, but I really love the world of Rizda. I, I like all of the way it's like a sci-fi romance kind of thing. I think the alien species that have been set up are interesting and the, the political milieu that this world inhabits is interesting to me as well. The romances are very steamy, but I think they're also very satisfying and they tend to be marriage of convenience stories, which is a trope that I personally very much enjoy. So I will keep reading more Rizda books so long as she gives them to us. And there are like a smooth 20 Ice Planet Barbarian books at this point. So who knows how many books in the Rizdiverse we'll get. And then a YA trilogy that the second book is coming out in October. And uh, I'm excited to see the third one come out hopefully next year. And that is the Clue tie-in mysteries that Di Diana Peterfriend is writing. I find these to be really fun, charming, and a good example of YA mystery that is actually, I think, genuinely aimed at teens and not just for adult readers of YA. And I think it does a really good job of having fun with the Clue property. There's tons of super punny names in this series that I think are fun. Yeah, just all around, like, I like the kind of YA mystery series this is. This first one was an isolated closed circle mystery, which I absolutely love. I'm excited to see the final one come out and maybe they'll do more. I would be into having more in this series. They're good times all around. And then I think the last one I have in physical form is the Akeda series, the Akeda Witch series. So Nettie Okorafor has written two of these so far and I've read both of them, but I did see on Twitter recently something that said she was writing another one in this series. And I wasn't sure because like there wasn't anything, like there's nothing on Goodreads saying like what the publication date is or whatever. Like there's not a firm plan of when another one of these is coming out, but I really, really enjoy the series. It's dark it's unique. It's middle grade fantasy in this one. I think safely you can call it YA fantasy by the next one. And it is got, it does really have a dark point of view on the world that I think is really interesting and tense and fun. So I'm excited to get more of these at some point. And actually I do have one more of these in physical form. So the Reluctant Royal series from Alyssa Cole. I've read, ooh, two of these at this point. And there's at least two more that I want to read. So I definitely want to read A Prince on Paper because I want to find out about Naya and the Dutch, is he like a Dutch prince, I think? Something like that. Lichtenberg, Prince of Lichtenberg. They're gonna get together. So I wanna read this and I also wanna read Once Ghosted, Twice Shy. So, and I probably will end up reading A Duke by default as well, cause I do own it. So, okay, I'm gonna read all of them. And that was the criteria for this list anyway. So I've got a few more of these to read, but I just love Alyssa Cole and I really love the series. And I'm also going to read the spinoff of the series when it comes out in December, which is called How to Catch a Queen. So excited for these. And then three that, I don't have in physical form. First, Percy Jackson. I am really enjoying that series. I've read the first two. I'm waiting for the third one from the library. And it's one that I've just been kind of getting the audio, like getting online for the audio as I finished up the previous one. Uh, it is middle grade fantasy that has like a heavy emphasis on high end Greek mythology. It is a lot of fun. And I think just like the lighthearted tone that I need for 2020, like I just really appreciate how lighthearted and just genuinely fun these books are. I think I've been reading discovering middle grade. I may be doing another video about series soon called series I want to start and a lot of the series that I want to start are middle grade ones because I think I just haven't explored that enough in the last few years and I really do appreciate them as being something light and having themes that are usually around family and friendship. Yeah, I just think that they're a nice kind of addition to my reading diet that I've been missing. So anyway, all that to say, Percy Jackson is such a delight. I'm so glad I'm finally getting on the train with Uncle Rick. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. And then another one I'm doing on audio from the library now, I had them in physical form, but I just found that I actually really liked the audio of these is the Nevermore series by Jessica Townsend. So first two have come out and 
and the third one is due out I think here in a couple of months called Hollow Pox. Is that right? That sounds right. So yeah, I'm excited to keep going with that. Middle grade fantasy set in a like our world but a little bit different kind of setting and there's like a magical boarding school. The, our main character is a type of chosen one but I think a darker more interesting take on that than we often get. So yeah, all around I'm excited to keep going in that one too. And then the last one that I don't have in physical form because I've been reading these as ebooks is the Millivane. I call it the Barbarian series. I don't know what it's actually called. The first prequel novella, which you should absolutely read, is The Beast of Blackmore, then A Heart of Blood and Ashes, and then A Touch of Stone and Snow. The last one of this trilogy right now comes out, I believe, in February of 2021. So I'm very excited for that. And it's just a really good fantasy romance series. I will say that for me, I probably read this series similar to The Grey Straven more for the fantasy than the romance. What I really like about fantasy romances is that it's a way to get kind of the same way I like why fantasy. It's less intense fantasy worlds. Like there tend to be less like in my mind tedious world building pieces <laughs> that you have to slog through. Like it gives you just enough of the world to make it interesting and cool but it doesn't get like so tied down in like pages and pages of descriptions of magical systems that I honestly just can't be bothered with. I know some people really like that. For me it feels a little masturbatory. So for me I really like fantasy romance the same way I like YA fantasy and that is because it gives me the fantasy vibes I want but tends to be very like character driven stories, which I also like in fantasy. So anyway, I'm excited for the third one. I don't know if there will be more after this. I hope there is. I like the world. I think it's a pretty interesting political tableau she has established. So I'd be interested to see more in that world. But yeah, I'm excited for that one to come out. And I think those are all the series that I'm like pretty committed on finishing in total that I've started or continued since booktube. So yeah, those are some series I'm going to continue on in. Like I said, I think I may do another like a final video of I did series I'm not going to finish. This is my series I'm going to finish and I may do another one of series I want to start. You guys can let me know if you think that sounds interesting. Ones that are kind of on my radar. I also think that next year I'm probably going to dedicate a good chunk of my reading time to catching up with series. Like even just going through this exercise was nice for me to see like, okay, yeah, like I've got three books in this one that I'm trying to get through or one book here or four books there. Like it's, uh, yeah, like this is a helpful exercise to kind of visually think through how many books that would be. Because yeah, like I would like to start some more series, but I'm somewhat hesitant to fully do that <laughs> unless I'm good. I've gotten through a few more. You know, I try a lot more series than I actually end up reading all of. You know, I guess maybe it's not the worst situation, but I do think about that sometimes of like, I really should just finish some of these series I've started. Anyway, all that to say, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know some of the series that you are wanting to finish up, ones that you've been working on. Let me know if there's any of these series I mentioned that you guys are particularly interested in me prioritizing or if there's reviews that you guys would be interested in or blogs or whatever. You can let me know that below. And yeah, I think that that will do it for now. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social meds if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below along with a link to register to vote. And if you have already registered to vote and double check to make sure that you are still on the rolls, I would encourage you to think about making a plan to vote. Have you requested your absentee ballot? Have you figured out where you can early vote? That kind of thing. I'm going to be early voting at the smallest polling station in my county. So that is my plan. I hope you've made one for yourself. That will do it for now. I hope you guys are having an absolutely lovely day today and I will just talk to you soon. Bye!